My name is Abby Coyle and I'm a company manager in theatre. Um, a company manager is someone that literally just encompasses um, the welfare of everybody involved in a theatre project. So that does, that includes wardrobe, that includes obviously the actors, um, dealing quite, quite closely with the director um, and just ensuring that everyone's happy really. And you're just, it's being a mum, that's the only way really of, of kind of summing it up. I work on, on things that could are very short term, and whether that's eight months or three months or anything, and it's the project managing. So seeing something from, from the initial concept through to completion and doing the, the best job, really. I love the fact that when you ask me what, what a typical day is, I can't answer that because the phone could start ringing at any time in the morning and, and it finishes at you know, silly o'clock in the evening, which is probably the downside. But during those, during those hours, it's just so varied. You can't get bored. I've got lots of friends, like I say, who um, uh, work in industries and different places and they live for the weekends. They don't enjoy what they do. They all envy me because I just seem to enjoy what I do. As a kid, I always knew where I was heading um, in that sort of world of make-believe. And I was very sort of fortunate. I grew up in a, in a pub, actually, ironically, which was a local that was used by all theatre people. And I think I fell in love with the theatre people and the fun that they created. Um, and so I think that's what kind of set me on the path. I remember quite vividly going to see a show called 42nd Street um, at the Theatre Royal Jury Lane. And I was, it was my 10th birthday. I just remember see, watching it and um, coming away from that whole experience and just knowing that I wanted to work in theatre. But I also, as a 10 year old, I was aware that I didn't want to dance or sing, that I wanted to almost sort of put it on, if that makes sense. I wanted to be involved in actually making it happen. I have moments of recapturing that feeling that I had when I was 10. I suppose, I suppose it's that, in that applause moment where you think, God, they've really enjoyed this and we've, we've managed to pull it off. They have no idea the carnage that's been backstage, the problems that we've had during rehearsals, the arguments and everything else, the tears and tantrums, because we've just, we've just got away with it. We've just done it and it's, it's obviously very special. I went to a performing arts school when I was 16, so I did A-levels there. Um, and then th there is a path where you could go on to drama school or go on to university, but I went straight into work. And I think the reason was at that time, the money issue was quite a big issue for me. I couldn't get round the, fee the fees I had to pay. I was offered a TV job, a running position, um, or a non-paying theatre job. And I took romantically the non-paying theatre job. I don't know why. <laughs> but, um, and, and from then I just carried on working in theatre. I don't know if I could do anything, it would be, in all honesty, it would be working, continuous working on huge shows um, and big spectacular events, such as the Olympics. So yeah, the big, the really big things. I don't ever want a quiet life, I think. It's always gonna be your parents or, or whoever, your careers advice sort of saying to you, no, you should go for something steady. You should do something um, that matches that sort of profiling. And actually, if you're passionate about something, there's 101 ways of, of getting there. And absolutely, I was faced with a lot of, there's no job security, where you're gonna get, you know, it's a bit low pay. Um, and I don't know, you, you, you work around that if you, if you really wanna do something.